own stage name since I've started this course is honestly bizarre to me, especially considering I initially wanted to go by one of my middle names, because I have to, because there were a lot of dead slash dying family members whose names needed to be honoured with the birth of the first Earl girl. Or I could have been Ella Dawn Edith Earl Ferdinand, which would have been cool, a mouthful, but maybe people would have believed me when I told them my dad's Sri Lankan. But we're not here to talk about names, are we? Oh, I guess we are, because that is the entire theme of this show. But if there are any agents here, I can act, I swear. Exhibit A! Here are some photos of me crying. I'm really good at it, and this course has made me even better at it. Just ask my classmates. Oh, and agents, I can sing too. Lady, running down to the riptide, taking away to Okay, I can't play ukulele, but I can sing, I swear. Oh, and agents, I did also, also try out for the state basketball team when I was 12. Score! That's what I call multi-talented. Now, have any of you guys here heard of Eric Morris? Eric Morris is an American actor, acting teacher, and author who founded his own theory of acting based on the works of Lee Strasberg and Martin Lando. Eric's passion for truth and authenticity drove him to create an Eric Morris system of acting which provides actors with concrete techniques to explore their own psychology as the underlying source of their challenges and unique gifts as actors. No, good for you. You know, sometimes being in acting school just feels like being in a video game. No, no thank you, I thought I was done with this. No, thank you, fuck off, no, get away, you go away. Round one, choose your fighter. Acting coach. Eric Morris is a god. Versus Ella Rose! Can I see a photo of my cat? <laughs> Round one, fight! Acting coach uses primal mode. Two different boyfriends, two very different boyfriends. 
Two years ago, I said goodbye to my mum, my dad, my brother, my best friends, my dogs, my nan, three of my cats, which is still way too many, all in the name of pursuing the one thing I've ever wanted. But <laughs> who thought that putting 20 wannabe actors in a room for two years was a good idea? Who could have guessed that we tend to lean on the dramatic side? In the last two years, I learned what grief was. I learned what it meant to have your life fall apart at your feet, to feel the ground open you up and try to swallow you whole, but still have to get up at 6 a.m. the next day to go film, to just put on your bravest face and get on with it. I thought the end of this course would be me doing something awesome with the grad show and blowing everyone out of the water and having agents throw themselves at my feet like I was the next Margot Robbie, but I am sitting on a stage talking about my ex-boyfriends and doing a video game reenactment of real life acting exercises. <laughs> I feel like that's the penultimate lesson of acting school here. You come in with these big dreams and fantasies and you come out with definitely a few skills under your belt, most of which having something to do with biting your tongue or trying not to bang your head against a wall and of course maybe a mild nicotine addiction. Sorry mum and dad. But I feel like if I can deal with two years of that, I'm ready to face a lifetime of whatever this ridiculously impossible industry might have to throw at me. And I have the support of some of the most amazing friends and collaborators I could have ever asked for. And without them, I don't think I would have finished it or even finished writing this piece. This course wasn't just about my journey, but our journey.